Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will troubleshoot the issue. 5 GHz bandwidth Wi-Fi is not showing on your Windows 10 and 11 version. So let's check. First of all, that our computer is really supporting 5 GHz Wi-Fi bandwidth or not. In order to check that, go to CMD. Okay. And you need to right click on that, run it as administrator. Click on yes button when the prompt opens. Okay. And you need to hit this command. This is the command to check. And you can also read out more about the gigahertz. So I will show you again. Hit enter. And once you hit enter, go to radio type supported. And if you are getting this portion, 11a 802.11a 802.11ac okay a means it is related to the 5 gigahertz bandwidth it means that your computer or laptop is supporting 5 gigahertz if you are only getting this b g or n option it means that your computer is supported 2.4 gigahertz or 2.5 gigahertz not supporting 5 gigahertz okay so make sure you are getting this portion here okay i will give these commands as well as the descriptions about the gigahertz in my video description so let me minimize it once you confirm that it is supporting go to device manager open it Once you click on that, you need to look for network adapter, expand that and from here, look for your wireless adapter. You can see Intel dual band. It is also already written here. It means that dual band means 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So right click on that, go to its properties and go to advance and on the first option, you can see in the this option wireless mode choose this option from 5 gigahertz you can see here the 5 gigahertz choose this option and click on ok once you select here the 5 gigahertz okay you need to scroll down and click on preferred bandwidth no preferences click on 5 gigahertz once you select ok here click on ok and restart your system and your issue will be fixed okay if you don't have the dual bandwidth this travel you need to manually go to browser open the google chrome and you need to look for intel dual wireless driver and hit ok for windows 10 or 11 whatever version you are choosing once you select that click on this option and also we can identify the 3168 okay in my case 3168 you can choose accordingly let me 3168 Three one six eight and hit enter. Now you will see three one six eight. And if you don't have, you can try out. Okay. Once you click on that, you need to scroll down and look for Windows 10 or 11 64 bit. From here, you need to choose the latest one. This one. And click on View option. And you can choose here the 64 bit accordingly. If you have 32, so you can choose that option. And if you have 64 bit, click on download it, accept terms and conditions. Okay, and wait for the process to install it. And after once you reinstall the driver, restart your system, and your issue will be fixed. So, hope your issue is fixed now. If yes, then hit like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.